Брюс Ли и Морта. Welterweight Division Matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's who's your first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Good punch, Lance. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, big knee there. Hook there. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Yeah, you got to get off your back. You got to get off your back. Ground and pound strike is true. 
He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Huge knee lands. Way to hide that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Absolutely bludgeon. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storr. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Head kick is blocked. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, collar tie. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, head kick lands for her. Mike single collar tie now. He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Collar tie here. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Lee's kick blocked. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Counters with the left hook, nicely done there. Wow, he actually got the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these times. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestle stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Nice job out there. He's exhausted. The ground control is unstoppable. Whatever you want to do down there, you can do. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. What a punch. Nice head kick. Got the single collar tie. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice kick. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. and. Offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head, the activity, and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, big head kick land. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, big punch land. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Try to establish that jab. Pretty good right hand. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. That was a nice strike. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, he hurt badly, the jab. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice one two there. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. That was a thudding leg kick. Goes to the body there. Big kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. 20 seconds to go round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, he eats the knee there. That does not taste good. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. What a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, 
chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheeks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice stupid punch. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend him, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Immediately gets the underhook, and they separate. He's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Good punch. Muay Thai plump. And he landed the right hand there. Keeps the elbow there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big kick land. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Oh, nice right hand. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him in the body that clean. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Nice leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore right. because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Single collar tie now. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. And lands the left there. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's where his opponent. When it's time to... Oh! Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about 
this fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all weight to his opponent. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Nice defense there, huge block. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movements. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. It's okay, never mind. Let's make it Let's get going now. Oh, big head kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful strike. And both guys really thrown with a four. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Another big shot to the head. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Nice, sneaky head kick. Knee to the body. Blocked. And there comes the separation now. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Collar tie. And they separate. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Effective punch there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Plus right hand is true. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch to the clinch. Just misses there with the left. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Going orthodox now. Lee gets in the clinch yet again. And they set him. Can't take many of those, you better check. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Got the single collar tie. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Just missed with the leg kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. That knee might have landed there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Those punches to the body are really starting to take control. Nice kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Hey. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Right hand upstairs. Throws the right hand there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 20 seconds left. Lee and try to further expose what surfaced tonight as an obvious weakness. Attempts the front kick there. Clutch over the top. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And of course, the big storyline in the previous round, those knees just up and down, really inflicted a lot of damage on his body. Really driving the knee into the midsection, toe pointed down towards the mat, really throwing his entire body into every knee that he landed. And it shows, because look at his opponent. Look at his opponent's posture as we get ready for round two. Ooh-wee, Ooh -wee, what a right hand by this young man. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relativeness. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Sneaky head kick. Nice punch land. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, nice. Nice. Dig and kick. Ooh, what a head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice. Oh, man. Shot to the body, his opponent not up yet. He's trying to keep the poke face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Oh, and he lands yet another knee, and sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. You get the turtle in that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. How good is that right hand? Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Under three minutes remain in round five. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, that's a nice strike. Liver kick. Just missed with the left there. Big kick lands. Visibly limping here. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, nice. Head kick lands. How about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the targets. Sight to behold. Single collar tie now. Nice punch there. Changes his stance. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. 90 seconds remain in the fight. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. He gets the elbow up into the target. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. 
Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stand and cheer, Unbelievable. Oh, massive knee to the head. Oh, both, both landed. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He's trying to recover full guard there. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what he's a start transition. Looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. His opponent's got double hooks in now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. He's done, he's done! So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique. And ultimately, that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeVing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and. He did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position 